Uh, my name is Edward Leatherman. I'm 16 from Miami, Florida. I was injured. Uh, actually, I jumped from one branch to the other, and I grabbed a branch, uh, the branch, and the branch broke in a tree, and um, I fell about 16 feet, and I landed on my neck on a root. And, well, I knew I was paralyzed the instant I hit the floor. I didn't. I didn't even want to leave uh, Miami until I found out about the Shepherd Center. And um, really, I wasn't even like keen on coming until I looked it up online and um, well, I saw like how good it was, and I heard from people like, "Oh my God, they work miracles there." And they really do. By the time Ed leaves, um, I want him to be able to be able to um, roll in the bed by himself, be able to sit up by himself, um, so that he can dress himself. Um, from there, he can get into his chair by himself by using the sliding board or not using the sliding board. Um, I want him to be able to get anywhere he needs to get to um, by himself. Sometimes I just let him, Ed, go and say, hey, roll, and he's just got to keep trying until he can do it. And um, it's a lot of work, and uh, he's here an hour and a half every day, so these are things. We've been working on bed mobility for quite some time, so he's almost there. He's on the edge. It just needs that little extra uh, to get to where he needs to get to. So. Yeah. Well, the, the most difficult or challenging thing about therapy currently is strengthening because all of my muscles are so weak from being in the hospital and losing them. It's just hard to get them back. I've learned how to do a lot and I'm still learning how to do a lot every day. And. Um, it's hard, but it's all worth it, so. Yeah, smacking ninjas around. <laughs> oh, I can totally hit them with my head. Um, we just got finished doing the eye toy, which is um, part of our therapeutic recreation department. And, um, the, the eye toy that we were using is actually to set up on a PlayStation that um, any patient can use. They can attach it to their game system that they have at home. And it also, not only is it something that's fun, but it's also something that can use to strengthen your upper extremities as well. So, you know, that's really our main goal. Um, you know, we really have found that not only does it help, you know, physically, you know, obviously doing the eye toy here, it was a test for strength. and. Um, endurance so not only physically but um, like Ed says well your mood you know just emotionally and mentally physically all aspects of your life you know we really found that recreational therapy can help um, in all of those areas. I mean I really enjoy getting out and doing stuff so no it's really nice because it's just different and it's nice to have a change and instead of just having therapy and Sitting in the room, but I get to get it out and have fun. So. You know, our main goal is getting getting patients back to things that they enjoy doing, um, whether it be out in the community or recreational skills like this. Uh, the other thing is the pool um, the thing that Ed is involved right now. Tonight he'll be going down to scuba class, so that's another part of our department that uh, he's actively involved in doing right now as well. It gives me an idea of how I can adapt to things and how I can do stuff that I really like to do. The outings that we do are all group therapies. There's also classes that, um, that they can participate in as well, such as the scuba class for tonight, where it will be in a group setting. And, um, and then other things specific to, not necessarily to recreational therapy, but to our adolescent team. We do every Friday, we do what we call Fun Friday, which is an outing or an activity that is just for the adolescents and it's a you know a group aspect, group, you know, team effort that we do. So something fun. Uh improves my mood and it kinda makes me feel normal in a sense, like just to have free time and go out and do all the things I used to do and so. everyone is so nice.
I mean, everybody, even the maintenance people, like, greet me and say hello every time I pass them. And it's just, everyone's so caring. And I think that because everyone's so caring, it makes, it just makes it better. Like, I mean, people don't just get a job here. They do it because they care. And that, um, the last month has been grueling, but totally worth it. I'm starting to get movement back, and I never thought I'd get, I knew I'd get stuff back, but the doctors were slightly more convinced that I wouldn't. And I've proved them wrong. I mean, yesterday I twitched my finger. This morning I twitched two more. And the therapist saw it, I saw it, and I was really happy. I got my tricep back six days ago now. I'm doing great, just little by little. What keeps me going is seeing other people that are less fortunate than me and thinking that I could be like that and just thanking God that I'm not. And I was a very individual person before this, and I plan on being individual after this. Really, attitude is everything. If you stay in bed and don't do anything, you're not gonna get anywhere. And really, Shepherd is the only place that you have to learn what you need to learn to be able to be individual.